CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. A forensic toxicologist took the witness stand at the dangerous and impaired driving trial of Claire Beckers in the Nanaimo today. He testified that the mother was coming off a major alcohol and drug binge when she crashed her SUV in December 2008, injuring her two daughters and killing her two sons. As CTV Scott Cunningham shows us now, testimony today could be a turning point in the case. The Crown's star witness in the case against Claire Beckers emerges from Nanaimo's courthouse. Ronald Pawn is a forensic toxicologist, a man who can determine from blood samples if drugs or alcohol affected a person's state of mind. The Crown is focusing in on any factors that might explain why a person might lose control of a motor vehicle. This is the vehicle. Claire Becker's gnarled SUV. On a December night in 2008, it crossed the center line of the island highway just south of Nanaimo and kick-started a seven-car pileup. In the end, her two sons died and two daughters were injured. Beckers was charged with impaired and dangerous driving, and today the Crown's toxicologist said while Beckers was under the legal limit for alcohol at the time of the crash, there was enough cocaine, antidepressants, and alcohol in her blood to impair someone for days after they were taken. Well, the toxicologist's evidence is uh, advancing uh, an explanation of the facts in the case. While the Crown sees an expert witness taking the stand as a positive step in their case against Claire Beckers, the defense says testimony heard holds little water. The blood alcohol level, as I've said, was below the legal limit, and there's no evidence, evidence of anything in her blood that's active. While the Crown's toxicologist is clear that several substances were pulsing through Claire Becker's veins at the time of the crash, when they were taken is the real issue. The expert told the court large amounts of alcohol and cocaine were ingested, but not 12 hours before the accident. An exact timing doesn't exist. The issue if Claire Beckers had one or two sips of beer on the day of the crash also came up. But blood alcohol levels show even if that did happen, it would not have brought her over the legal limit. I don't think there's evidence here upon which you could hang a dog with regard to whether she had a sip of beer at home or, or in Victoria uh, before she left. Final judgment on the expert evidence will fall on a B.C. Supreme Court judge. And he may have some extra time to look it over. After already taking a lengthy adjournment in the case, the defense is expected to ask for two to three weeks to find their own expert witness to refute today's evidence. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.